Hi guys, still on pass paper pip 2018 grade 5. Again, thanks again, Miss Art. Very nice paper. Alright, it says that Kelly and Michelle are sisters having their birthday this week. Kevin asked their age. Instead of telling them, he was given these clues. Each age is a factor of 24. Hmm. 36 is a multiple of both their age. 30 is a multiple of Michelle's age, but not Kelly. The sum of their age is 14. Alright. I think that should be ages, but that's all the people have it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Alright. So, um... First, it says each age is a factor of 24. So, this is what you will do, students. And it's very, very important. With maths, you use the information they give you to get what they ask you to give to, to give them, alright? So, the first thing they say, each age is a factor of 24. Don't think about anything. Just think about the factors of 24, first of all. So, you approach it step by step. So the first step is to list all the factors of 24. Now factors are numbers that can go into 24 without a remainder. I have a special video on factors. So if you guys don't know what are factors. So one can go into there. 2, 3, 4, 5 is not a factor because if 5 go in there leave a remainder. 6 is though. 8 3 is 24, 12 is a factor, and 24 can go into itself. Alright? So these are all the factors of 24. Alright, it says 36 is a multiple. Now, multiple means when you multiply, you can get them. Alright? So you can multiply 2 by 18 and you get 36. So 2 is said to be a multiple. So 36 is said to be a multiple of twos, rather, sorry. So 1 is a multiple, 2, 3, 4, 6, mm, let's see. 36 is also. So we can consider these numbers. Alright. It says 30 is a multiple of Michelle's age but not Kelly. So that is very tricky, right? So numbers we can multiply if we give it 30. Can I give a fake one one and then we don't go? Now, this is the part that um, is very, very critical. He said the sum of their age is 14. So what I would suggest, guys, you look at these numbers and see which one of them. You can eliminate the big ones, right? Like the 18, the 24, the 36, the 30. Because if when you add the two numbers, you only get 14, it means that... It can't be those big numbers, right? So you can just kind of eliminate those and then you focus on all of these numbers. When you add them, it can give you 14. So let's just look at that. We could add 2 plus 12, 6 plus 8, right? Those are the only two numbers there that when you add them, you can get 14. So, how are you going to decide which of those are the, the pair, right? Alright, first of all, it says 36 is a multiple of both their age. Now, 36, 36 is not a multiple of 8. 
So we can eliminate that. There's no num, whole number you can multiply 8 by to give you 36. So we can eliminate this. So this would be the answer. Right? So let us differentiate which belong to Kelly and which belong to Michelle. Now Kelly, they say Kelly, 30 is a multiple of Kelly age but not no, 30 is a multiple of Michelle age, but not Kelly. So that means Michelle would be 2 because 2 is of and then Kelly would be 12 because Kelly age is not a multiple of 30. 30 is not a multiple of 12. 12. We leave a remainder when it goes into Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will be working the entire paper. So I will see you guys in the next video. And guys, please remember, just share so others can get the benefit of it. I'm out. Thank you.